Good morning. Good morning. What is going on here? We are going to have breakfast. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, Welcome here on Two Crazy Ketos. We do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. <laughs> we talk about various keto topics and then every Monday we go live on Keto on the Couch where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you can find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon that way every single time we start the day with six beverages, you'll be alerted to it. Good morning. How are you Good feeling? Good morning. I feel kind of cruddy mm -hmm. this morning, so I double, triple, quadruple think we made the absolute best decision. Yeah, because there was home. there was always a part of us going, maybe you'll feel better on Tuesday. Yeah, right? it's Tuesday. And it's Tuesday morning. And I don't really feel, feel better. better. Fortunately, I'm feeling fine. High five. High five. Lord, no let sign us of anything. Still testing negative. And I know there are people going, I don't understand why you're sitting next to Rachel and why you're sleeping in the bed with Rachel. Because I love her, and I can't sleep without her, and if I'm going to get sick, I'm going to get sick, but I'm going to just trust God, and we're going to keep doing, but we're enjoying some relaxing time at home. That's what we're enjoying right now. Well, I, I won't lie. I am glad that I'm not going by the by through this with no one. Like, right. I'm glad that... I'm not going to lock you in the room and say, stay over there. Now, we are having her stay away from the kids and everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I know. You're like, I really want to go sit with the kids. It's and... bizarre to call your family from another room. <laughs> right? Like, this isn't across the country. This is across the house. Yeah. Okay, so breakfast, we're having a couple of eggs. Which I love. And um, we've got an espresso. So this was one of the single shots that they had that, you know, because we bought a bunch of different ones when we ordered. We didn't know what we were going to like. Now we're like... We pretty much want the double shot ones. Oh, wow, we have the good. double and the quadruple shot ones. That's pretty much the only thing we will buy, but we're also going to be refilling a lot of our own. But this was the single shot, but I ran it through twice. That is And good. it's pretty strong, you know, it's, even that way. It's funny. I can instantly feel it kind of like opening up spaces. Almost reminds me of when you eat something with hot sauce on it. Right. It kind of opens you up like... <laughs> If you got a strong enough cup of coffee, it will open. Well, that's tip. what's interesting is, is this is the same pod twice on your, so you have a double in your, but using one of the single pods. Right. And it doesn't seem watered down. So no. I think that the way theirs are designed, you can actually get two uses out of a pod. I'm very happy with okay. the espresso. And then, oh, I meant to mention, so you're talking about opening up. We bought the Vix. Like vaporizer, the waterless vaporizer. I like that a lot better. I, I honestly, I like the water one because you can really we get power, it. but it does put a lot of humidity in an area that we already have a lot of humidity. We're good with humidity. And it makes our air conditioner in our room work even harder because again, you know, an air conditioner is taking the humidity out. So I'm putting humidity in with it, with a vaporizer and then yeah. it's got to work to take it out. And everything kind of gets like, I don't know, that moist, damp yuckiness. But I feel like you get a lot more potent, like walk in the room and bam, your sinuses are open. But I'm pretty impressed with this thing. So we got it yesterday after keto on the couch and um, we've run two pads in it and it's still pretty strong. It's just not quite as strong as like for the whole room. But we have it like right behind our head and it definitely is... At least it's affecting me. I don't know if it's affecting you. It's nice not to wake up greasy. Yeah. Like, that's what... And but is it helping open up you a little bit? Yeah. I know we put, like, Vicks Vapor Rub on the bottom of the feet. Sounds weird, but it works. It does. It and, makes me but, feel And better. that helped you. But yeah. I, I've always liked a vaporizer. Me so. too. Okay, so we're having the espresso. We've got a cup of coffee. We made the entire pot. Oh. One tablespoon of butter and one egg. So not a whole lot going on in the coffee. Enough. And then I feel like I want to make sure Rachel is getting enough nutrition in. 
And so we're splitting a keto chow. So this Aww. is a keto chow. And uh, this is the banana flavor. Mm. And then I made it with four tablespoons of butter. So each one of us is getting two tablespoons of butter and a half a keto chow. I forget how awesome banana is. Mm -hmm. We should make banana more often. Right. I think. And we don't. It was a flavor it took us like over a year to try. It was like chocolate, but it is delicious. Mm. That is nice and thick. Mm-hmm. Really thick. So we're going to eat. I don't know how much of a vlog this is going to be more than us sitting down, talking, and showing you what we eat. We're having New York strips today. And we are going to definitely be having a movie marathon that's mm -hmm. beginning with the new Ghostbusters. That looks really good. I'm so glad that you can buy movies and not have to leave your house. No more. I couldn't go to Blockbuster Video right. this morning, so it's kind of nice. Well, I mean... 20 bucks to buy a movie. That's what it's going to cost to go to the movie theaters. And now we own it and I can pause it and go pee. We're going to have some beautiful New York strips from the share of beef we bought. Take a look at these things. Who says you can't get fat on a grass fed grass finished beef? Look at that. This is going to be a delicious steak. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just prepare it by putting some Redmond salt on the entire thing and then stick it in the refrigerator and let it get a little bit of moisture out of it and tenderize it. The cat is watching TV with us. It's kind of interesting. She keeps looking up at the TV right there. Look at her, look, she keeps looking up. She's a fan of Ghostbusters. Who is it? This is a really good movie. What is it called? Ghostbusters? Afterlife. And it's really cool. If you haven't seen it, we're watching it on iTunes right now. I feel like sweaty garbage, but bacon does consult me. So Rachel still isn't feeling great. So we decided that we're going to push the steaks till tomorrow. So for dinner, we're having a couple of those Teton hot dogs or polo sausages topped with some keto chow chili and a couple slices of bacon. Good morning. Good morning indeed. It is Wednesday and I feel like I am once again alive, which is good. You, I love you. Mm -hmm. You look amazing even when you're sick, but you look so so much better today. Good I morning, Tabitha. Did not look great yesterday. Aww. It was just a lot of, of tissues and frustration because that's what I've been feeling like. Like I just have a nasty cold, one of those frustrating colds where you have enough energy to be able to do stuff, but you're not allowed to do stuff, right? right? Like you need to just stay in bed and I'm like, you know what? I need to do this and this and all these things are going by the wayside. And it's like, Rachel, lay down, go to bed. That's yeah. it. We need to pause for one minute because I think she's not actually coming to say hello. I think she wants some food. I think she's coming to say, um, excuse me, but you've been up yeah. and I have not yet eaten. Okay. Do we have a happy puppy? We have a happy puppy. Now I'm waiting for the other two to jump up here and be like, hey, where's my food? It used to be in our life that nothing came before that first cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. But when Tabitha saw the coffee poured, she was like, yo, you know, puppy gets fed, then you get your coffee. That's how it works in this house. So for uh, breakfast, we are having an espresso. Mm. This is, I forget which one it is. I'll put it up here on the screen, but this is one of the actual Nespresso pods. But it's like got the, it's wow. in this like black and red one. I think it was like some special one. So it was more expensive. It was like a dollar twenty-five a pot, but I used the same pot for Worth both it. of us. But now you're drinking this. That is the actual second run through. I was gonna say because you know the only re reason why I can the color tell, of the foam, the color of the foam. But taste this one. So that's the first run through. That's the second run through. I'll take this one. And it is really, really potent. It is potent. potent. I mean, it's like making your own. It's, it's that I potent. could paint your house right now. I could run over there, I'd get it done, you wouldn't even know I'm there, and get back. That's how strong it is. Uh, breakfast is a coffee, so I did the entire pot. There's still some left in there, so we will finish that off. But these are smaller cups, but they're they're pretty cups. They're tiny. They're the teeniest, tiniest I think these cups. are 16 ounce cups. But Only? we got them, well, we got them for when we were gonna, when we filmed the Nespresso video. Yeah. But, uh, so in the whole pot, two eggs and two tablespoons of butter. I'm glad to hear that. I can honestly say I'm, I'm up for an egg. 
Can we maybe add an egg to this? Maybe we... Yeah, I can make some. You normally would wake up I, I in the morning it. and go, I'm, I'm hungry. hungry. I want breakfast. So yeah. I didn't make any. Speaking of eggs, I wanted to show you. So in in an Is effort to ride? further like get Caleb to go, ew. Is this like a carnival ride for our eggs? I got one of these egg skelters to put to store. And skelter? On the, that's what it's called. A skelter? Like helter skelter? I guess so. So I got one of these to put it on the counter to store our eggs. But I'm returning this one. For two reasons. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's leaning. It's like the leaning tower it's, of and Pisa. And it's not supposed to be leaning like this. It's Is leaning bad. Is there like a, a heavy egg or something? I don't know why I need it to spin. But you can see, like, look at this. Spin the wheel and see which egg is yours. I just see our cats. Oh my gosh. They're going to totally. Knocking this over. Well, this just seems like balls, right? Like, just, like, I want to paw them myself. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I like the idea I'm also never gonna have this many eggs sitting on my counter. Lately, they've kind of slowed down because it's been chilly, and we're not it used to is this. It's chilly. So it's only like 55 degrees outside, so we're only getting two or three eggs a day instead of the normal four to six eggs that we're get, we can, normally get. Can I give a shout out to the weather and our hot tub yesterday? I feel like- We were supposed to turn the video on and we didn't. I think that that sent me more on the mend. There was something yeah. about the- Fresh air and then also staying in the nice, warm, you know, hot tub that really made me start feeling better because yesterday I wasn't feeling great. So speaking of hot tubs, yes. so yesterday uh, we set up a bath and I got those Vicks crystals, like the mentholating crystals. Which I was excited about because I think that a bath solves a lot. Yes. It solves a lot of issues. It, it solves a lot of stress issues for me. It solves a lot of pampering things mm -hmm. for me, and I feel like... I want a bigger bathtub. It should, I want to have meetings in the bathtub. There you go. It should be able to fix things. It's definitely been a dining room for me in the past. Yes. Like ice cream, keto ice, you know, keto chow ice cream in the tub. It's a thing for me. We, we have determined a lot of our future sitting in the bathtub. A lot of things get resolved in the bathtub. A lot of decisions get done in the shower too. Yes. I have a lot of my good thoughts are in a shower. Do you find that to be true? Do you? Well, are you a shower person or a bath person? Because those Vicks crystals, they also have tabs that you can throw in the shower. I don't think I'd want it in you, my shower. You throw it in the shower and then you stand there and as the hot water hits the, the you know, the, the vapor steams come right. up. And I do remember, I'm, I'm sure other, some of you have experienced this. When I was a kid. <laughs> Sorry. And you would get sick. Yes. My parents would turn on the shower, the hot shower, and make you sit the steam. in the bathroom, like, you know, like a towel over your Mine head, did too. the steam coming yep. up. So I do remember that. So anyway, I got these Vicks, these Vicks crystals and I threw them in the bathtub and then Rachel was sitting in the bathtub and she was like, I don't smell them. And I'm like, you don't smell them. The you can neighbors smell them out in the front room in the studio. That's how strong it is. Yeah. And then I had gotten in there. And I smelled them, but boy, did those things cool your skin because it's like, the, again, that menthol was like hitting your skin and it was like, wow, it makes you feel really good. I really do like that feeling I felt like there. something was happening, but I was very worried when I didn't smell it because I thought, oh crap, am I losing, losing my smell? taste and my smell no, and everything? No, it's just that you were all like clogged up but i was just completely clogged up it was like a regular cold for me so by last night you know once some of that yeah. the snots went away you know then i i feel good and i'm really glad i can still taste stuff now uh we didn't really vlog much yesterday but in fact we didn't really vlog at all um and for dinner we were supposed to have those new york strips but rachel was just like i'm just Why not waste super it on hungry me? And she was like, my nose is stuffed up, which does affect my taste, even though she hadn't lost like her taste completely. You can't enjoy things as much when you're all stuffed up. I love my steaks. So we let the steak go. And since I had salted them, they're fine sitting in yeah. the refrigerator. I actually usually like to have them go at least 24 to 48 hours when I salt them for that like dry brining because they make them even more tender. And when you are dealing with grass-fed, grass-finished beef, you do want to tenderize it a little bit more a little bit slower of a cook because there's not quite as much fat in there. And so we're going to have those today. And I'm excited about that. Me too. We'll make some eggs when you're done. We'll show you guys the eggs. I've got to edit our video 
for the Nespresso review. Yay, because that so, was so much yeah, fun. Yeah, by the time that'll be out, by the time this vlog comes out. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out here because we go over not only a review or our opinion of the Nespresso, but some hacks, but all of the different pods that you can get to um, basically not have to use their pods. So watch that and see which, what do we think? Do Are, are they worth it? Do any of them work? If any of them do work, which one is the best one? So go watch that video. I did want to mention, I finally slept a little bit better. So we mentioned Yay. last week um, that I did something really stupid. We were just kind of screwing around, not that way, but I, um, wow. I went and grabbed something Wow! in, in, in haste, just like, you know, oh, my, I'm going to act like I'm 20 years old. I'm king of the world. And I, I pulled or tore a muscle up here in my shoulder. And I don't think it was the rotator cuff, but it definitely hurt. And then after a couple days, it got better and better and better. And I was like, okay, I'm good. But at one point, I couldn't lift a piece of paper. Like, I literally went to pick up my iPad with this arm and it hurt all through my bicep and everything. So it may even be a rotator cuff. And I was like, I'm on the mend because it was affecting my sleeping. And then yesterday we were sitting in the hot tub and I watched the gray chicken jump over our temporary fence, which is keeping them off. And I'm like, are you kidding me? They are First so, the black one went over. They're so spy-like. I know. Right? Like they're able to find their way to where they want to go. Well, I, I watched the black one jump over and, and it, it was more of a Parkour. concern because it was coming up on nighttime and, you know, where they need to start making their way back into the hen house. And I already have an issue with those two where they have their own little box. And now your silly little fluffy one has decided that's her box. And Naomi. she chases them out of there, too. So she's definitely like the bully of the family. She really is. So I got the black one back and then the gray one jumps over. And I'm like, are you kidding? And I go to grab her and I re injured and pulled my whatever muscle was and it got all the way back to like are you kidding me there's nothing like just picking up a light chicken and being like gosh i just broke something picking up something that's four pounds and it was <laughs> so painful and you know like you can immediately see the inflammation in fact i said to rachel like feel the inflammation it was here. like this weird and it was like a big puffy, puffy. water thing like yeah. right here and not, she's like because she here. checked the other side she's like it's not here it was like but so I finally took some ibuprofen and I don't like to take that kind of stuff, but I needed something for the swelling because the swelling was bad. But I wanted to show you, if you ever have like sore muscles or something like that, this is some of the best stuff ever. Yeah. Uh, it's called Crowderm. You can actually get it on Amazon. I had originally found it from a chiropractor a few years ago when I was having some back pain and it was turned out to be like spasms, but he had given me this. They, now, they actually have a spray, which I cannot find on Amazon. I like the spray one the best. I like the roll-on. This is the roll-on, but you can roll this thing on. And, you know, yeah, it really starts immediately helping with the swelling and the pain and getting things go down. So rather than ice packs, I like this stuff. Well, and if you've ever used one of those, like, stickers that's like a heat patch. Yeah. This is much more, oh, like... Oh, it's so much better. And economical. It yeah. Like, you get a way more uses out of it. And I think it's pretty reasonable. Now we're talking breakfast. <sighs> okay. So here's what we got. I broke an egg. Oh. Now it tastes better, right? So just a couple of eggs, one slice of bacon. Chris and Miriam had dropped off like all their leftover bacon because, you know, they always stay in like Airbnbs. Yeah. And so they had a whole pack of bacon left. So yesterday I just cooked it all up on the Blackstone. And when I pre-make it, because I'm not really making it for purse bacon, I pre-make it so that I don't have to like, you know, spend all that extra time. We can have bacon kind of on the fly. So bacon I on the fly. slightly undercook it. And it's funny because you're like, this is kind of snotty bacon. It's like, because it's not quite done. It's cooked to the way some people like bacon, even though they're probably wrong in liking totally it that way. wrong. Uh, but I cook it that way. And then when it's time to eat it, I throw in the air fryer crispy. at 400 degrees. And now it gets nice and crispy. And we always like the thick bacon. Yeah. Because it's like, when you get the thick bacon, you still get that chewy meat that's not just like... I'm eating almost something that's burnt. 
but it's cooked all the way. That's why I like thicker bacon. I still like thin sometimes because I want it to be super, super crunchy. And right. you can't get the thick cut bacon as crunchy. No, you can't. So Rachel is having two eggs, although it looks like only one because she wanted one like an egg in a nest. In my nest here. I cut a little hole in the middle of the bread and then we cook the egg down in that and just flip it over and it makes it fun. So I wanted to say something. Take a look at this. Are you now happy that I made my soda stream modification? That is the amount of water we went through just yesterday afternoon. And that's not even including the morning when I refilled a couple of them. That was from like four o'clock on where Rachel's like, I need more water. And we've been drinking seltzer water. So that is like one, two, three, four, five bottles right there. It has been nothing but me drinking and taking electrolytes in. Like yeah. that is it. I've been like keto child drops and the Redmond capsules. And honestly, I think it's really helping. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I've lost so much fluid out my nose. You would be like, why are you not more dehydrated? But yeah. I definitely think that they're helping. But that is a lot. So I want to say we probably went through like 10 bottles just yesterday. Easily. I, I wanted to mention something. So back in October... I ordered Rachel a Christmas present. Yay! I ordered her this Harry Potter, it was a Quidditch one, right? Yes. The, a Quidditch purse. Finally came yesterday. It finally came yesterday. It's so Look pretty. at this. I got it from Hot Topic when I had like a 50% off coupon. Yeah. But here's my complaint. I have a major complaint. Hot Topic, are you watching this? So we get the invoice. Here's the shipping invoice. Uh-huh. And you have $45 in hot cash to spend when you buy $40, $90 more. So basically 50% off of your purchase, right? Right. Must use before 11-1-2021. What? That is not fair, yo. Right? We didn't even get it until yesterday. We just yesterday. got it. We just got it. Wow, and so, that's crusty, yo. Like, I am calling Hot Topic. Like, and I did. I went and I tried. Well, maybe the, the, because we just got it. And, it's like, and, no. and nope, nope. They're like, not valid. Expired. Wow. And so I have a major, don't lose this because treat this like a packing slip. It's just cash. And I'm like, but it's no good anymore. It's like out of date cash. Look at you still getting your work done. You know what? And you have a workmate. I do have a workmate. She's really laying down on the job. No <laughs> kidding. But the enthusiasm is there. Look at the tail going. One thing about a Labrador Retriever, their tail can be dangerous. Don't have knickknacks. Don't yeah. bother. That tail will knock things over. Tabitha, are you laying with mommy? She's been keeping me company. Oh, look at you. She's like, look how good I lay down. <laughs> and Roscoe, of course, is like, excuse me. This is my bed. My bed, my spot, and there's a tail hitting me in the face. It's just a matter of time before he goes over, starts licking on her, and then decides, like, yeah, no. Look at him. He's like, where do I He's go? Looking, like, where behind mom, maybe? Okay, so while you're working, there is a problem at the new campus with the computers. And since nobody is there, even though I'm testing negative, I'm going to go over there while nobody is there and troubleshoot the computer. And then I think I'm going to stop at one of the testing centers because we're testing negative with the at-home tests. But yeah. I figure let's go ahead and just double check with the ones that are like a little bit more accurate. And then we just kind of do this anyway, wherever we are at right. all the time. We Lysol, we right. wipe down everything. And that's just kind of a practice that we had started two years ago now. Right. And it's just, it's it works. Okay, it's about 4.30 and we're gonna go ahead and start cooking the New York strips. Uh, now, today we're gonna cook them in an air fryer because a lot of people have an air fryer and again, we're trying to cook things in appliances that a lot of people have. So we're gonna cook them in the air fryer. So the first thing you wanna do is pull them out of the refrigerator. So I have mine right here. And what we're gonna do is temper the steaks. So tempering the steaks basically means bringing it up to room temperature. You don't wanna take these right out of the refrigerator and stick them in the air fryer. You're gonna end up with a really cold inside and they won't cook evenly. So we have our steaks here. And the first thing we're gonna do is just take a paper towel and blot dry them in case there's any moisture still on them. And you wanna make sure you go all the way around with that. So just do this side. 
and then also get all of the edges, which is kind of hard to do when you're holding a camera. Next thing you want to do is just coat them with a little bit of oil. You don't need a lot of oil. Make sure you're using a high smoke point oil. So I've got this spray avocado oil. I'm just going to quickly give it a little spray. You don't need much. This is literally just to have some seasoning stick to it since we just took all that moisture off. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and season the steaks again. So you can use salt and pepper or you could use this Redmond's organic garlic pepper, any kind of seasoning you like. And we're going to just liberally coat the entire thing. And again, make sure you're getting the edges as well. Now, after you coat everything, make sure you take your fingers and just kind of press some of that seasoning down into the steak so it sticks. And we're just gonna let these sit until they come up to room temperature about 30 minutes to an hour. We're gonna go ahead and get ready to cook these steaks. Now, in order to start, we need to preheat the air fryer. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and we're gonna hit preheat. Now, my air fryer does not allow me to actually adjust the preheat time. Uh, it just automatically puts it at 405 minutes. So we're gonna run it for five minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and run the same cycle again. I think it's time for another giveaway. I think you're right. Behind me is all of my packed bags and nonsense that I was taking to the Tampa RV show and I am wearing all of those clothes packed just like that. I'm not putting them back into my closet because I was promised I got to live out of a suitcase this week and I'm doing it whether we're there or not. Oh man, I have pepper. Oh, I had a, I had some chili and I put a little bit of pepper in it while you were like working on a video. Right. And I was watching some Seinfeld. They're, they're on Netflix now. Will you take I'm so your finger excited. Down. I need to like, I won't smile. I'll be like that so you don't see you it. You seem to be feeling a lot better. I feel awesome, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't change my circumstances at all. We're still living out of my bedroom. We have figured out though. This is why we go RVing as much as we can like every other week because we don't know how to not work when we're at home. We're, no. we're just getting a bunch of work done. We're getting a lot of stuff done, computer stuff. Let's go over what we're gonna give away in this. Again, same thing, if you didn't see that video, I'll leave a link over here. Yeah. Up, up here. Okay. Okay, so. Can you hide my tooth with it? We've got one of our two crazy ketos wristbands. Yes. Now, some people have asked us about these wristbands. If you go on our website, you can order wristbands, but there's a blue one on there right now. I have not had we time have to, to update, update the, the website. Uh, we don't have those blue ones anymore. You get these instead. This is actually a little bit wider. I think they're nicer. It says two crazy ketos on one side, on the other side it says, what's, what's your, your beef, beef with, with bacon? bacon? So uh, we get one of those. Root beer float. Sorry about that. What is wrong with root beer float? Well, I'm apologizing for anybody who thinks of it like it tastes I, really good as ice cream. Yeah, if you've got the creamy root beer to pour over it. Okay. <laughs> Chocolate. Chocolate. Pumpkin spice caramel. I like that year round. Strawberry. Strawberry. Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. Banana makes really good pudding. It's really good. Chocolate peanut butter. Good in everything. Eggnog. And then natural strawberry. This is the one that is made, made with, with monk, monk fruit. fruit. It's so, nice for somebody who wants to try a different sweetener in it. So we're going to do five again. Five of them. So five. That means so we have five in the other video. Hi five. You have five in this video. We still have 30 more to give away. We're not giving away all in one video. We're going to take our time with this. Yeah. Now, in order to enter to win, all you need to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button down below and then leave a comment. Now, once again, we are asking... If you've already got a bunch of keto chow, either A, put in your comment down below, like, hey, pass it on to somebody else. Right. Or B, uh, maybe consider gifting it to somebody, maybe somebody that you know, friend, family, something like that, that wants to try keto or wants to start keto chow. Right, it's a nice and, gift. And uh, give it to them that way. Again, we can't make it mandatory. No. But it would be nice to have some other people try keto chow. Absolutely. And we will put the date that we're going to draw the winner down below in the description because I don't know what date we're going to release this video. And now I think I have pepper stuck in my teeth. Okay, oven is preheated. Now, as soon as it's done, you don't wanna let this thing cool down. We're gonna go ahead and open up the air fryer and we're gonna put our steaks in. And these steaks are a little big for our air fryer. You wanna make sure you have enough, like some air that can circulate around each one. So we're gonna put them in like sideways like this and just try to have a little bit of a gap. We're gonna go ahead and put it in, turn it on. We're gonna hit steak, 400 degrees, six minutes, and then we're gonna come back and flip them over after the six minutes. Okay, timer is done. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. And now we're gonna take these steaks out 
And what we're going to do is we're going to flip them over and we're going to put them the opposite way that we had them. So we're going to put one here. Then we're going to take the other one and we're going to put that one over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check the internal temperature. And we are at 101 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and put this back in for another six minutes. So timer, 400 degrees, six minutes, and go ahead and start. So we've set it for six minutes, but honestly, we're not gonna leave it in there for six minutes. At this point, how long you cook it for on the other side is gonna be completely dependent on how thick your steaks are, as well as what doneness you want your steaks. So we wanna get like a medium rare steak. So we're gonna go until we have an internal temperature of about 130 degrees, because then we're gonna pull them out and let them rest for a few minutes and the temperature will continue to rise. So after about two or three minutes, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna check the internal temperature, and if it's at 130 degrees, we'll pull it out, if it needs to go up a little bit more, and we'll just keep checking it like every minute. So we're at four minutes left on the timer. We're gonna go ahead and open this up and just check them real quickly. And you don't wanna take too long to do this. So we're gonna go, we're at 117 degrees, so probably like two more minutes. Okay, we're at two minutes. We're gonna go ahead and check it again. We are at 128 degrees on this one. And 132 degrees on this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop right here. We're gonna make that one Rachel's because she likes it rarer than me. So we're gonna take these out and we're gonna put them on a plate and let them rest for a couple minutes. I gotta say, when you said air fryer steak, uh -huh. I thought there's no way we're gonna be able to eat it. Why? So I'm impressed by the way it looks. I thought it would be way too overdone. Well, we haven't cut it open yet. Okay. So, I mean, is the air fryer the best way to make a steak? Probably no. not. No. Probably the best way is either a sous vide followed up by a cast iron, uh, but, if you don't have either of those, this is a good way. One thing about doing it this way is it does make it a little bit easier. Oh you don't have gosh. to do a whole bunch. Look at that. You actually so got a So let's go ahead and, now these steaks do have a bone in it, so it's a little bit more difficult to cut. Wow. And let me cut some of this fat and gristle off. So yeah, so there we go. It is a medium rare. We can go ahead and show you guys that. I cannot believe it. Now, personally, I mean, I like it sous vide because you would have a lot more pink in the middle. Yeah. It, you know, you have a, you have kind of that edge, but that is one of the things you get, like when you cook it in a sous vide or something, where, or reverse searing, where you only have the little outside edge with the sear, and then the inside is all pink. But I think a lot more people have an air fryer than they do a sous vide. That's why we did this. Mmm. Really good. Now the seasoning. Spot on. Mm hmm And then, of course, you do have your nice bit of fat. I mean, that's the thing about New York strips. I like New York strips because the fat's kind of around the outside. Mm. And it's not in every single bite, but a lot of people do like ribeyes. Wow, and that really, that fat really cooked up nicely. It gets that nice little crisp on the outside. I like the crunch. But it is like very, very, like melt in your mouth in the middle. Mmm. Mmm. Then I saw your steak, now I'm a believer. I really did not think this was gonna work. So I'm pleasantly surprised. We're gonna go ahead and finish this steak up, and then we'll come back and wrap up the vlog. I'm amazed. Why are you laughing so hard? Oh my goodness. Caleb was sharing some memes about Taco Bell because Happy New Year from Taco Bell. They had for a week only um, wings. They came out with chicken wings. <laughs> and there's always like, you know, so much I'm criticism. I'm so glad we don't eat fast food anymore. Because we would have totally tried them yes. just to see like from zero to sick in how many seconds, right? But um, they're always getting teased for their low grade of beef. Right. So you're like, what would even a chicken wing look like from there? I don't know. We've had some bad fast food wings. Yeah. Um, for me, I think the worst Domino's fast food wings Terrible. I've ever had was from Domino's, followed up by Pizza Hut. But oh. let us know down below, what are the worst fast food or 
out to eat wings like that this, you've ever had. Like this place has no business making wings. Yeah. Like I go mean, do something else. We have a local wing place near us and they make the best wings and they have like homemade blue cheese dressing. It's really good. Which is amazing. But we stopped getting those wings because they're fried in peanut oil. Which, honestly, if I'm going to have something fried in a bad oil, I'd rather be peanut oil than, like, canola oil and stuff. But we just started going to Buffalo Wild Wings because they fry all of their wings in beef tallow. Plus, they're cheaper when you go to, even with buy one, get one 50% off. It's cheaper than most wings places. Well, and if you haven't made Joe's blue cheese dressing, you've got to give it a try because... That's when I really could let go of going to that place is mm -hmm. when you provided a blue cheese It's pretty much the same thing. That is exactly the same. Well, I was trying to imitate theirs when I made it. I don't think Taco Bell is working on their blue cheese Taco Bell and dressings. wings. Oh. oh my gosh. I'm so glad we don't go up for fast food anymore. Yeah. Well, I know it hasn't been a super exciting vlog, but hopefully now that Rachel seems to be on the men, I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully some of the future vlogs over the next few days will be a little bit better. Somewhere I'd like to take some time for somewhat of a vacation since we were supposed to be on one anyway. I think it might just be nice to just take a walk outside. That would be good too. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time Taco Bell has chicken wings, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.